Okay, so this is Art Hacks Everywhere. I'm David Huerta. I'm one of the organizers for something called Art Hack Day in New York City, which is coming up in January. We'll go into that detail. Um, New York City has recently had a very proliferant hackathon culture. So um, there's a growing technology community, startup community, that has been putting a focus on, I guess, people building things. This is my first hackathon that I uh, attended when I moved to New York City called reinventnyc.gov is actually a hackathon that was sponsored by the New York City government, which is really cool. Um, it also meant they had a decent sized budget, which is why we're eating like um, catered fish and not like old pizza. The, uh, this is basically what a lot of them are like. Uh, but we want to do Art Hack Day, which is artists and hackers. This pretty much sums up why. At least half of it. And that's the other half. So in this case, we want to create epic things, do epic shit. So that happens when you have people with strong right brains and strong left brains working together. Um, so, or it could be really awful. There's really no way to gauge that until it actually happens, so we're gonna do it. This is our logo, Art Hack Day, nothing can go wrong. The, uh, it's a very different type of event. Um, we are taking a different approach to hackathons than other hackathons are doing, we think, because we're doing, we're defining and broadening a lot of definitions of things. A little bit of background, this is Olaf. He's uh, probably one of the, the main founder of Art Hack Day. Um, he's actually based in San Francisco, but he commutes a lot to everywhere else in the world, including New York. Uh, we, me and him actually made this like ridiculous scary pumpkin mask with the mohawk made of stems at, our, at uh, the NYC resistor. And that's Paul. Uh, he, I could not find a real photo of him ever anywhere. Uh, but yeah, so he is basically the other organizer of this, the other like third of our little triad. He's a web developer, he does cool stuff. So it's for artists and hackers. Um, so our slogan is basically, we're a hackathon for artists whose medium is technology and technologists whose medium is art. This is a technologist whose medium is art. Um, so these are little turtle shell racers. They're pretty awesome. That's the sort of thing we want to see, because it's really cool. And of course, artists whose medium is technology. This was actually at the Muse Museum of Modern Art down the street over at the MoMA. Um, basically, it's a showcase of sort of uh, like interactive, you know, human to object relations, uh, which we thought was really cool. And in this case, we, this is something that we looked at before we started. Um, like I said, we're defining things very broadly. Uh, Warhol actually thinks said that art is what you can get away with it, what you can get away with. So uh, that's basically what we define an artist as. It's very, very, very open-ended, probably dangerously open-ended. Uh, we also have a broad definition of what a hacker is. Uh, in this case, people tend to spend way too much time on the semantics of that, in my opinion. <laughs> but, uh, so basically, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you show up, congratulations, you're a hacker. Um, so we have a few different aspects to the hacking that's going to happen. <laughs> so. So this is, so we're gonna be doing, we're gonna have hardware hacking. Um, Sparkfin has been very generous in donating a lot of really nice stuff to play with while we're at the event that is gonna be given away to attendance. Um, there's a very horribly named startup called Fascism, F-A-S-H-I-S-M, that's an iPhone app that's donated, that's letting us borrow some sewing machines. So we'll be able to do wearable things, like this really cool uh, EL wire like outfit that uh, somebody was showing off at the Robot Film Festival. MakerBot is also going to be there, of course, with MakerBots. So we'll be able to do some 3D printing, um, 3D design, and, you know, being able to, like, build stuff on the spot. The venue itself is also going to have a laser cutter, theoretically. So we'll basically have a pop-up hacker space in the middle of Bushwick in Brooklyn. Of course, there's code. There's always code. Um, so a lot of people that have a sorted history in data visualization are going to be there, from what I understand, that have signed up anyway. Um, so there will be plenty of sort of the traditional get down on your laptop and start coding stuff out 
sort of mentality you see in hackathons. And then you have 24 hours to do it. Uh, basically, the founders and I sort of have this philosophy that art is ship. So if you can't make art in 24 hours, you're not a real artist. So actually, we do have some restrictions on the definition of artist. But yeah, so it's basically, it starts in the evening, goes on well over into the next day. People have sleeping bags, etc. And then it opens up with an art gallery opening at the event itself, which is an art gallery, so it makes sense. Um, this is different from most hackathons in the sense that most hackathons end with some kind of big contest. And we wanted to diverge from that a little bit and have more of a spirit of cooperation in terms of people like working together to do stuff, so we just ended it that way. This is a location at 319 Shoals. It's really great to find places like this because they're spacious um, and they have a history of doing cool stuff. They were also the uh, sponsors of the Bent Festival, which is a circuit bending festival in New York. And that is a dead drop. So that is a sign that you found the place that hackers are invi invited to. Uh, we also have several sponsors. It's helping pay for the events. In this case, we don't focus on them too much. We, they're helping us out with paying for food, um, for building out the, wire, the wireless infrastructure at the space, which is very art gallery-esque, meaning that the 10th person that signs on drops the internet connection. Uh, and we measure the, we're measuring the success on this by how well people enjoy it, and then how, whether it, people enjoy it enough to like spread it out to the rest of the world. So it'd be really awesome if there was an art hack day in Berlin, I think. So I'll leave you with that thought, and that's my time. <laughs>